Today we're going to be replacing my catalytic converter on this 2002 Honda CRV. I know I made a video of it before. What I did before is I took it out and I cleaned it and it seemed to do the, the trick. But now the code came back P0420. I think it's P0420. Yep. Um, so this company sent me this catalytic converter. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it. We're going to see what's inside. I'll have the name on the link where I got this from, by the way. If you guys are wondering where I got it from, feel free to message me or comment down below. All right, what she looks like. So this is a direct fit. Uh, we just gotta remove the bolts. This is where our O2 sensor goes in. And we got our nuts and bolts, washer and all that good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that catalytic converter and put First them in. What we need to do is you need to jack it up right there in the frame. I got my jack stand right there. Then we go underneath here. So you have three bolts, one, two, three. So you can see I sprayed it with WD-40. It's a little bit rusted. So go ahead and put your open end wrench right here. This is a 14. And then use your wrench to loosen that bolt. This is already loose. And then if you go up underneath here, if you've seen my first video, um, that's the bolt that it broke off. So you got my, I got my stud or my bolt broken in there. I have to drill it out, but you have another one here. Right there, which is a uh, 12 millimeter. So go ahead and take that off. And then if you go underneath here, you have your O2 sensor, you got your upstream and you got your downstream. <clears throat> Go ahead and remove those wiring harness and just unplug them. You got a tab right here and then you pull it out. Same for here, pressing that tab and it comes off. That way, <clears throat> when we have the catalytic converter out, we can remove those two. O2 sensors out, which will go right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the old catalytic converter and we're gonna put this one in. That's the 12 millimeter right there. You can reach it from here. So you can see my hand. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see. gonna be right here take this off like i said the other side i broke it broke off when when i was attempting to remove it i know i have to drill that out <clears throat> but for now we're just gonna put one bolt and take this off all right so we got all the bolts off uh bolts on the top and the three bolts here our gasket go pull it out that's the new one this is the old one so we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of wd-40 around here And let it soak for about 10 minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and remove them and swap them out to this one this one by the way is eight millimeter that's an eight millimeter take those two off and then we're just gonna swap the o2 sensors to to the new one 
and we're gonna go ahead and install it. Little oxygen sensor kit. We're gonna go ahead and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it right here. And then we're gonna use our ratchet. Uh, it's probably best that you leave it in the car first, then remove the oxygen sensor. But I wanted to I wanted you guys to have a better view of what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and loosen that up, swap them out, and install the new catalytic. Got this one set up right here. Got my foot right here, and I'm just gonna give it one good whack. You did this side. Okay, so this one goes up here. This one up here. Go ahead and tighten them up. And then this washer right here. I believe this one is still stuck. Right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. This is the old one. This is the new one gonna slide it right up in there actually it might be better if if we go ahead and slide it up in here like this so we're gonna go ahead and put the new catalytic converter with this gasket holding it with my finger like that so this package came with these two bolts right here these two longer ones. These ones go on the top up there. Like I said, I broke one of them off. So we're just gonna use one. And then these bolts right here. I think I dropped the other one somewhere. There it is. So we're gonna reuse, or we're gonna use uh, these new bolts right here. Every time you're replacing a catalytic converter, I would recommend replacing the bolts so they don't break off like what happened to this one. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it up right here. I'm not gonna show you the process of it, but I'm gonna show you how it goes in. So it's gonna slide in with this one. So that was my mistake. We're not gonna reuse this one. This is for the old one. This package actually came with a gasket. It looks like this. So you can see the, the little groove right there. We're gonna go ahead and put that one in there. And then we're gonna put the bolts. Okay, so you can see I got my, we have our gasket in there. Make sure it's in that, um, that little groove. Also, I already installed the bolts and the nut do not tighten it yet all the way just we're gonna need all that room to align this side right here so just hand tight this one it goes in like this all right this is the upper side don't forget to put your gasket in Move it up a little bit out and then we're gonna slide it in there and like I said one of the bolts is broke so go ahead and align it and put your two bolts on that and then we're gonna go ahead and reconnect those O2 sensor uh, all right so we got one, two, three bolts installed. Now this is the new one. I could not use this one. This is too big for that hole. Um, so I had I ended up using my old uh, bolt for now. We got our O2 sensor here. Go ahead and reconnect them. That's one. This is the second one. Go ahead and 
and tuck them inside so they're not dangling. But yeah, anyway, I had to reuse that old one and that hole right there, there's a, a bolt stuck in there that I have to drill out. Well, we're not gonna cover that today. Like I said, if you wanna know where I got this catalytic converter from, I'll have it posted up on the title and the description. Um, yeah, that, that's it. If you got any questions, comment below. Guys, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, help me out with my algorithm. If you got any other questions, feel free to inbox me, comment. Uh, I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. All right, and again, thank you for watching.